Welcome to the White Lotus in Sicily. Italy's just so romantic. You're gonna die. They're gonna have to drag you out of here. A man does what he has to do, but you keep it tight. What happened last night? Whenever I stay at a White Lotus, I always have a memorable time. Well, I have to say, guys, that it's an honor to meet both of you. I am a fan of your work. Thank you. I'm excited that you joined season two. <laughs> Funny thing is that when last season, when I was doing interviews for season one, I was in Sicily on holiday. <laughs> ah, where? Ah. Where were you? Uh, well, I was very near Palermo. Uh, but we went to, you know, Scala dei Turchi. Ah. A really beautiful place and everybody was having fun and at the resort and I was on the call. <laughs> but it was so much fun. So I'm very happy that now it's in Sicily. And uh, your characters have a special bond with Sicily. Can yes. you tell me a little bit more about that? What is, why are they so, you know, not happy, the word is not happy, but what is there with for them in Sicily? But that's really a, 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 a to identify it precisely is really difficult because I thought I knew Italy very well. I worked all over Italy, north to south, and I speak some Italian, and I'm half Italian. So I was very surprised to see that the Sicilians are different. The Sicilians are very individual. They have their own language. Yeah. They're not Italian, they're exactly. That's right. So how to identify that exactly? An extremely proud people, by the way, but uh, so are the Italians proud. Um, I, 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 that's a very good question, but there is something distinctly original about them, and it's something that I respond to, that I like, and I feel very comfortable with. Comfortable enough to even think one day I could live there. I, I always thought I would live in Rome, but Sicily really appealed to me. Yeah. I don't know, uh, the people seem warm in another special way. At first, they're a little bit distant, but once they accept you, mi casa su casa. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, I, I can't be more specific than that. Exactly. Um, Michael, how about, uh, what can you tell me about unusual relationship, let's call it, with his father and his son? Because that's a, that's a, that's a trio that I did not expect to see. <laughs> yeah. Um, my character is really caught between, you know, the mentality of both. Um, the, and it's generational. You know, Bert's generation were very steeped in these old kind of macho, you know, uh, patriarchal kind of values and Adam's generation is that's post me too and you know someone who you know wants to you know redefine all those old those old mentalities and my character is kind of in the middle of both like he he sees the faults of Bert's ways but he also sees some wisdom in Bert yeah. and and with Adam he sees kind of the importance of, you know, moving forward, you know, and, and getting past some of these, you know, a lot of this oppression, but he also sees maybe some of the faults of that, going too far in that direction, cancel culture and all that stuff. And he's kind of caught between the two and is, you know, a little bit, when we find him in this story, unsure of where to go. Sounds like a fun boys trip. Wasn't well, supposed to be a boys trip. We're on a family vacation right now, and it's just the three of us, because all the women in our family hate you. Please, can we just drop it? You both played some incredible, iconic characters, both on uh, film and television. And uh, I'm always curious, how do you pick the next one? Like, why did you decide to, to be these characters? Um, Murray, let's start with you. <laughs> it's a... Uh... <laughs> You make it sound as though there are many, many projects from which I can pick and choose. It's not quite that way with me. This one came along, I'm offered things, but when they are this good, you go, thank you, thank you very much. Oh, by the way, I am orthodoxo. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was an, I was an altar boy. Oh my God. <laughs> 
They're Syrian Orthodox. How come? My father was from Syria. Okay, that's very interesting. The Bulgarians are very Orthodox oh. people. Yes, they are. They yes. are. <laughs> and Michael, what about you? Um, I mean, after playing a favorite character for many yeah. generations, and then you have to pick the next one. How do you well, I agree with you know what Mari said. It's not. It's not like there's like. 20 things for you know that you have the option of doing in February it's it's you know things come you know they come in dribs and drabs really mm. uh, but hearing that oh this show I hadn't seen the season one when I was approached about this uh, but they said oh it's gonna be in Sicily for four months that already is like okay even if it's not good I might want to do it just to be in Sicily for four months. Uh, then I read the, I didn't get the whole scripts, I just got a few scenes. I'm like, this is, these are interesting. And then I went and watched season one and I was like, wow, okay. Um, the writing and the filmmaking, and the acting was of, of, a, of a level that was really original and juicy and unique and it made me want to do it really badly. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, I have to wrap it, but it was a real pleasure. And I can't wait to see both of your very human, very flawed characters, what's going to happen next to them. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you. A man does what he has to do, but you keep it tight. If you're sloppy, it's like you're rubbing her face in it. What happened last night? Just been a series of very bad decisions. You've had very bad luck. The best thing about luck is it can always change. Italy's just so romantic. You're gonna die. They're gonna have to drag you out of here.